Hi guys, I'm uh, I'm running really late because I was going to uh, do a lot of videos. I still am, but they're just coming a little later. Uh, I had some company come over, and um, that's uh, why I'm uh, late. So thank you, Jan Willem, <laughs> for uh, making all my my subscribers upset. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to thank again all the uh, the sponsors for the for this channel, making it possible that I'm doing all these videos for you guys. Um, I have a, a whole row of uh, paints, and I am going to do a twenty by twenty canvas because I really have to do a couple because I want to sell some paintings, guys. If I just keep doing all the um, all the experiments, I won't have any anything to sell. So, um, and uh, you guys know that the the paint company hasn't uh, responded yet. So, there was some uh, some stuff going on about it on uh, uh, Lily's Mix website. Um, I I know now where it came from because I said if they're gonna review my whole channel and every single comment, then someone's going to be sitting in front of a computer and going through it for at least a year because you guys leave behind so many beautiful comments. So I think she uh, misunderstood that part. But I've, uh, I, I wrote to them and I asked and they replied back that they would take it under review and I haven't heard anything since. So that's the deal right now how it is. Because once um, someone sponsors me, I'm... Um, I have to put it in the uh, in the videos that I'm I'm being sponsored. So that's a rule of uh, YouTube and Google Sense. So as soon as they do, I'll tell you guys. I will. I promise. Uh, I like to be as transparent as can be. So um, that's why I um, share everything I uh, I do and know with you guys. And that'll also be the case uh, when the uh, paint company answers. And I might just um, wait just a couple of days more and then next week I'll uh, write them one more time and ask what's up. Because uh, it's been like two weeks or something like that. So I think they've had a long time to review and they should come up with it's either yes or no. That's it. Okie dokie. Got all my paints in a row. And that's the way I like it. And I've been stirring um, just, you know, not too, not too fast. Because I've seen a lot of people um, ask me uh, why they get all these pinholes and bubbles. Um, it's not that easy because if you really want some help, uh, please come over to uh, my Facebook group, Acrylic Pouring Basics. And there are so many people there that will help you, even if I'm not there. There are many people that have the same experience as I have, and they will help you. So please don't ask in the comments uh, what happened to my paint, or why do I have bubbles, or why don't I see my cells, because I can't tell you. I have to see a picture. And if you come and join the uh, Facebook group, Acrylic Pouring Basics, I'll write it down in a bit then we can help you and then you'll be good to go so i'll write it down it's very easy you go to facebook you go up in the um on the on the top you have a search bar and you put in like this acrylic pouring basics And that's why I made the group, you know, for people to help each other. So you just do this, acrylic pouring basics, and then you come into the front page and there is a button that says become a member or member button. You just press it and then someone, someone will uh, press a button and you're in. Another thing I'd like to uh, say is that some people... Um, um, they are trying to help me uh, make some money. So then they say, you know, you should go to Curios or to Society6 and you should sell your prints on, on T-shirts and clocks and, and stationery. 
um, I'm already doing that, <laughs> but a lot of people don't look under the video. Under every single video, there's a lot of information there that, you know, my email, there's, um, this isn't on it, but the rest is, like the curios and where you can buy um, fun, cute merchandise with my prints on it. It's all under the video. Um, I think, uh, you know, the email I made is just for people that want the PDF file. Or no, it's not a PDF. It's a Word document. If you just want to read through a couple of things, that's why I made the email. Um, it's, I'm sorry to say it's not for me to give you a personal workshop. That's not going to be happening because there's not enough hours in the day because I get a lot of mail and everyone is asking about how to mix the paint and how to put in the silicone and I think just go look at the videos and you'll be good to go. And I don't have that much time to uh, respond to all those emails. Uh, just sending the, um, just sending out the uh, document, that's no problem at all. That's a couple of seconds. And um, that's really why I made the email. So thank you all for that. And let's get on with this. So people always asking, Henry, what colors do you use? So this one, titanium white. It's the 105. Then I have this one, the yellow one. The yellow is Azo Yellow Deep. This one. Putting it, putting it up close so you guys can see it. And that little square, that's what you want to watch and see if you have the opaque and the transparent both in the mix. So that's the yellow. Then we have the orange. That is Azo Orange 276, half transparent. Then we have the green. Ooh, where's the green? This time I used um, this one, yellowish green, the 617, half transparent. Then I have the brown, that is my Van Dyke brown, half transparent, Van Dyke brown. And I put a little orange and a little red in it, just to make it a little bit warmer. And that's the red I put in the uh, Van Dyke brown. It's 315, both half transparent. And then my favorite color, that's the 661 turquoise green, and that's an opaque color. So we have two opaques, and the rest is transparent or half transparent. And if anyone's paying real attention, you're going to be saying, but you never put green in there. That's right. But today I'm going to be using green. Because I was in a mood to do something different. And really, that's something that I would uh, suggest you always do. Just do something completely different. And it just might, you know, just amaze you at what something like that does to your paintings. So we're going to see that in a bit. But before, I'm going to take this out. So guys, thank you all. And we're getting pretty close to the end of the month. So the last day of the month, I'll be cutting all these names out, making little, little folded things and putting them in a big hat. And then I'm going to be throwing them up and down and mixing them all about. And then I'm going to be putting my hand in and pick one person. And that's the person that's going to receive the giveaway for March and then April I'm gonna start all over again because the money that these people have put towards the channel um, I'm sorry but it's already spent <laughs> I went on a shopping spree bought me a lot of Liquitex Liquitex pouring medium lots of bottles because they're getting scarce you know you guys are all buying this stuff and I bought the Flutrol, which I'll be doing a video of in, a, in about an hour. So that's going to be fun. So thank you all for this. I'm very grateful. Now, to the pour. So I have these colors, and I have a really 
really nice canvas, the museum quality, which a lot of you guys ask, you know, what should it, should we buy? Well, if you're making stuff that you're selling, you know, just spending a little bit more on a canvas is a good idea because these come with the little pegs, like I said before, and it's just a pleasure to pour on one of these. So this is the one we're pouring. Oh, I need a cup. I always have to go for stuff that I should have had. Doesn't matter, I have plenty of cups. I was gonna go um, with glass, like I told you guys um, a couple of videos ago, but I'm not gonna do that, that's too much trouble. And then a lot of that, you know, polluted water will get into the, um, the water stuff. I'm not gonna do that. My rubbish gets burned and uh, nothing gets uh, put into the environment, so I don't worry about it. Okay. Normally I always put the, um, the white on the bottom, but I think this time, oh no, I, oh, that's good that I thought about that. I waited with the silicone because you guys always say, but I didn't see you put in the silicone. So this is the silicone. See, silicone on the bottle. And what I, did, what I normally do is the spray can that I use, I spray it in here. And I'm still on my first can of uh, silicone. But what I do is I open it and I spray it in here. And then I let it sit for a bit so that all those bubbles go out. But this is what I use. So it's this silicone and it's in this little bottle, the silicone bottle. And then I use this much. Let's see. Just a little few drops. And these cups are pretty full. Oops, I don't want it on my canvas. These cups are pretty full, full with paint. Because I'm doing uh, two or three pours today. And that's about what you need. So a couple of drops there, a couple of drops there. That's it. And if you can see inside the cup, I'm not sure if you can. That's the amount I put in each color. And put it through there, like that. And it, it looks like I'm really mixing like a mad woman, but I'm not really. Because I'm making sure that the stick uh, just moves the paint. Not too much, um, you know, you could really do it like this. But you don't want to do that. You just scrape along the side and make sure that you don't put too much air into this paint. Then the, the brown, just a little bit more. So along the sides, scrape along the sides and just sort of, you know, pull it up so it goes totally into each other. Then the turquoise green, this is a, a pretty full cup. So I'm putting some extra in. I'd say about, if you have a full cup like this, this is a, a 200 milliliter cup, I would put a little more in than, uh, than two or three drops. Normally I say between four and six for, um, I don't know, half a cup, so. This has just a little bit more. And I don't know if you can see the consistency, but look how it builds up on the stick. And then when you hold it up, it has to really pour off in one really smooth way. That's it. What That's what you're looking for. And a lot of the bubbles have, have to do with um, the mixing. It has to do with the silicone. It has to do with a lot of stuff. And you can always do this. Tap it on the, on the table. But you have to have a consistency that's somewhere between uh, thick cream and yogurt. Somewhere in between that. And if you have that, you're good to go. If you have the good silicone, that's going to be 
creating cells. So I hope um, I explained that because I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure I'm going to be doing a workshop video because, you know, I've been doing this like every 10 or 11 videos. I'm showing the consistency, how to mix it. You put in the paint first, then you put in the pouring medium between 20 and 30 percent. You mix that, then you add the water and you'll have like the most smooth paint you've ever seen. So what we're doing, we're putting in the turquoise first. What I really like is when the white mixes with the yellow and then goes through the brown. So that's what I'm going for. The white, the yellow, and then the brown. Not too much. Got to keep some uh, for later. Then the orange, not too much. Then the green. And then again the turquoise because I like that. But then I'm going up high. Really letting it pour in there. Okay, we're good to go. Just get the palette knife. Because I usually forget that, but not this time. And I would like to do, I think I'd like to do one where it pours off. Yeah, let's do that. So very carefully do it exactly on, on the corner. Because you want a lot of that paint going over the sides. Let it run down a bit. And this is already looking really pretty. Now I'm going to torch it a bit. Wow. Look at this. Is that the most beautiful lacing you've ever seen? It's pretty. So now I'm just going to tilt it a little bit. And I'm already feeling the paint in my gloves. Just let it go over the side here. And I'll scrape it up a little bit. Put it here. Let that go over the side. Whoops. There it goes. That's enough. And then I'm going to let it go back over that way. And you just have to let it, let it move. It goes slowly, but that does, doesn't matter. Then over that way. And I really like the, the way the uh, oranges uh, come through. That is pretty. Just a bit, let it go over. A little bit more. Give it a little bit of gravity pull. Wow, look at that. I love the colors, and you are not going to believe the sides when I show it to you in just a little bit. Wow, this is looking amazing. I do have a, um, some bubbles in there, some air bubbles. Just working the sides a little bit. There's a little bit. There you go. Want it totally covered. And it is totally covered. And I really like what the green did. Can you see the, the difference with my normal pores with the same colors? The green really comes out. I want to put it down just a little bit. <coughs> Okay. 
Okay, because I want to sell this one, I'm going to be cleaning off the, the bottom bit like this. Just a little bit of paint there, which I don't really care for. That's it. Okay, now I'm going to get my thing that I put my painting on. My little cups. And then I'll show you a close-up. Okay, I'll get you guys down. I've been talking way too much. Next bit, whoops, next video I won't be talking that much. Okay, here it is. Look at that. Are those the most beautiful cells you've ever seen? I think so. And look how it goes down the side. That is amazing, isn't it? Look there, goes over the side. And over here, the cells go over. This is really pretty. I'm sure when this dries, it's going to be a beautiful piece. And guys, if you want to buy it, like I said before, you have to put it in the comments. And the person that is first, yeah, I can't help it, but they go first. So, um, I'm going to be putting this one on YouTube in about a couple of minutes. I'll do just one close-up because you have to see how those cells, how beautiful they are. Look at that. Is that pretty? I'm, I'm really uh, surprised. Especially about this. I love that. I love it when they go over the side like that. Then I do a little happy dance here. So, this is it. 20 by 20 for sale. Thank you all guys. See you in the next video. Make some beautiful art.